Hello Power Users, in today's episode we will be looking at if function errors and specifically an error which happened to a lot of you and I've seen that on forum more than once and twice. It's a problem which creates a blank results uh, of if then else function and more specifically in the else section. So if you have a function which is built if then, then everything is fine and your results will be produced correctly. If you have the else section and you are pretty sure that your condition is correct and should produce a result and it doesn't, the result is blank. So we will be looking at why that's happening. Okay, so let's go to the point. We have a really simple really simple program with three as uh, with three buttons first is the start date second is the end date and there is a button to create our function let's start from the function in the function we will be setting variable range and we have if then as function schema which will be evaluating is if var start date is equal var end date this is a boolean of course it's currently produced true if if so then it will be printing the uh, it will be setting the var range to var start date and if not it will be setting the string text with a range so var start the date till var end date pretty simple right first of all let's look at this button here we just setting the star a variable start date we want to have the date value of now let's start the program this will produce the date the current date it will be in the date format this is important next we have the end date for now i've just created the same the same function to create the same date uh, which will be now date value of now date value is a function which will just trim the time from from your now uh, section because if you want to use the date now value then you will produce the date and time which will be in the ticks but this is something which we'll be discussing uh, later time but date value now and date value now for the for the start and end date will produce the same result so this is as you can see the same and the button should produce also the same date it does but what happens now if we change the end date go to clear this comment and now the end date will have three days added so it will be in three days so the dates aren't equal and if the dates aren't equal, what we want to achieve is to now produce the range. So, so from 28th of October to 31th of October. But what it really does is, tum, ta -ta -tum, tum -tum, you already know because we have spoiler alert, we will produce a blank value. Why is that? Why that's happening? Some some people on the forum already lost their uh, lost their hair due to this problem because there is no indication that the value won't be there. If he, if I highlight this value, I see even that range. Okay, so the, this value is correct. It's in the text format. It's correct, and it should produce a result. But now let's go uh, with some magic i will explain in a moment but let's assume that we want to also add the space here and what happens now we have a range you already know why we have a range well because if then so then and else section of the function this is really important they should produce the data in the same format so now the data type is text and in the else section the data type is text but if i just clear this we have the date here 
and the text in the in the else section. So let's prove that this is exactly the issue. Let's just yeah, let's just clear the text option. Sorry, what happens now? Oh, sorry. Let's do the plus. No. Yeah, we cannot have two dates, right? Sorry, we can have only one. So we, let's go with the start date. Yeah, the start date was correct. So this is then you need to have you need to change the the types to match each other, and if they don't, you need to force type change like I did with the start date and a blank value, or you can go, you can do the text here text yeah now it's the type of the text cool and one more example of this problem which i've uh, encountered also after i've managed to create this material let's assume for a moment that the start date is a date type current day today and and the date date will be changed to to just a number value so it's it's two right and in the label we have same function so if the dates are equal which they are not then create the variable start date uh, sorry then then go with variable start date so it should be this day and if no, then this uh, this label, this if function should produce just just two because this is this is the variable end date. But instead, it already took the type which was in the then uh, section, and just because it could not could not set the variable end date into this this date type, it just blanked. And if you blank the date, this is the default date which you will get. So that's why we have this date. Yeah, that's the magic of the power ups. You will have to work on this problem uh, in order to fix your if, say, if functions if you have the problem with the, the type um, mismatch is even won't produce any kind of error, but it, it will severely crush the logic of your application so be careful about this and watch this nasty pesky if function <laughs> better use switch if you can seriously <laughs> no 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 the if function is okay but you have to be aware of this problem see you being a out hope that this was helpful you can leave sub like etc